Hey everyone, welcome back to the Knights of Horror for another episode of Shoot the Shit. I am Rob, your host. I'm going to throw it over to you, Anthony. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Shoot the Shit podcast, episode 10 with members of the Knights of Horror. I'm Anthony, your host, and I'm going to give it to Sammy now. One one, he goes on Knights of Horror. Yo me hamo Samuel. Today you are tuning in to the episode of Shoot the Beep. <laughs> and I will be your host. That will better come up to bat. What is up, everybody? Welcome to uh, this episode of Shoot the Shit, where we shoot your shit for about an hour and a half, or however fucking long this is. Uh, I'm Will, uh, here with other Knights of Horror members, Sam, Rob, and Tony. Uh, let's start the shit. Well, that was a fun start to the episode, man. Yeah. Shoot the shit. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what we do here. We shoot the shit, man. We, uh... Just a bunch of YouTubers who like to take a break from the horror side of things every now and then and just shoot the shit with each other. Um, yeah, because we're here for, not here for a long time, we're but damn right, time. we're here for a good time. We're here to party, That's right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Put your seatbelts on, because we're about to go 0 to 60 today, boys. <laughs> zero to 60. Uh, as Will said, uh, I, I am here joined today by Rob, by <laughs> Sam, and by Will himself, who uh, was the final intro of today's video. And yeah, man. So, um, I talked a little bit about Rob today. Rob, how you went to the Taste of the Boysenberry Festival? Tell us a little bit about that, man. Well, uh, I thought it was pretty fun. I I did feel like there was quite a, quite a few people there, um, but overall the food the food was good as usual. You know, we, we've gone uh, to quite a few of these tastings together, Anthony, and and you know you can attest to that. The food is good. Uh, I feel like they did a great job of um pretty much putting boysenberry on everything i i've never gone to their past festivals but you know this is the first year i've gone to a boysenberry festival um well you know kind of you know they're you know they kind of switched it up a little but um it was good we the i, pre, I think i pretty much used like half my my tastings on desserts because uh i love sweet delicious sugar that just melts in my mouth um and i also picked off of robin's food uh who also went with me but the whole you know they actually one thing i thought that was really cool that they haven't done before <clears throat> normally when you go they have a screen and playing with like the band and stuff they actually had a live band out there normally where the picnic area is so they had a live band playing so i thought that was really cool to see um you know me being a drummer myself i love to hear live music and i thought that was cool uh the purple i feel like especially at night you know kind of just brightens up the park a little bit and it just has a cool color all the flowers and everything all the vendors there it's cool to see everyone back in the park i was i told my wife i was just like i have like this happy feeling just sitting here eating some you know boysenberry chicken wings and it, it makes me happy along with my boysenberry lemonade so but it, it was fun i had a good time and uh who might be going back? That's still up in the air. Might be going back. I don't even know if I'm gonna go. Honestly, I gotta see <laughs> see if uh, I'm gonna go. I, I really want to do Taste of Universal. That's the one I'm yeah. playing right now. Yeah, that's that um, that's that's the that's kind of the the up in the air because I I want to try and go with you know with you guys and see when if you guys go to Boysenberry or go to uh, Universal. So that's that's just the up in the air kind of part right now. Yeah. So I'm hoping we get to uh, all experience at least Taste of Universal together. Yeah. Um. Minus Sammy because he's in Arizona. So, you know, that's the fun part, right, Sammy? Wait, where am I? You're in Arizona. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, am I? Okay. My bad. I thought I thought he was on a business trip. <laughs> Bro, I just thought I thought I was in Westview. <laughs> oh dog. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Samuel, you are in Eastville. East View. There you go, East View. East View, yeah, Eastview. yeah. I'm in East View because I'm I'm East of you guys technically, yeah. That is true. That is true. Yeah. We are West View. Yeah, <laughs> true. Uh, that's, it was uh, Tony all along. That's what I told it was. It was me all along, the mastermind <laughs> behind it all. What do you guys think about these tasting events, though, man? I mean, we got Touch of Disney, which they had to be different from everyone else. Uh, Taste of Boysenberry, 
and Taste of uh, Universal. And then, you know, we got Six Flags doing a car event, a drive through car event, and we got uh, SeaWorld <clears throat> doing a, a tasting event as well. Um, what do you guys think of all these tastings, man? What, what do you think is the best bang for your buck? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut anyone off there. I'm just going to go first because I was talking. Uh <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> go first, so then, I, go guys, first I, was talking. I was i was talking um i honestly uh the universal one hasn't happened yet so i don't know but it seemed as far as best bang for my buck and it's different i feel like universal might be a, a good choice right now because uh like i said i just done i just did knots and knots for me up until this point i think knots has done a really good job with their tastings because you know you it, it's they've gradually gone up in price. Like I, th- I think I paid $45 for my ticket, but before that it was 40 before that it was 35. I think it was at $30 at one point uh, for one of their tastings, but I, you get, you get entry to the park, you get free parking at not. So I think that all plays into a factor of, you know, bang for your buck. And uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know if not, if universal's charging for their uh, like to go park there and to go eat, but if they're not, then that also will play into it. That's also a bonus because now you're getting to use, you know, you're not using whatever 25 bucks, 30 bucks to park. So, you know, that's just kind of something free you're getting from them. Um, <clears throat> Disneyland. Uh, I, I don't know. I think Sammy's house is haunted. He just, uh, see, now he's muted. His, uh, Sammy's house is haunted. <laughs> you're muted too, Sammy. So, yeah. Oh, I know. Your house is on it. <laughs> okay, I think so. <laughs> no, I was trying to see. I was trying to see what animal came in. I don't know. If the dog came in. Well, the he, came in. Well, or, or or you know, Casper. Okay, yeah, there's a ba- fucking bear in my room. Based based on where you live, also could be a coyote or some kind of rattlesnake. Chupacabra. A chupacabra. Oh, the chupacabra. <laughs> those, bro. those are those are out there. Those are out there. La Chona. <laughs> Sammy's favorite movie: The Curse of La Chona. <laughs> so you're thinking universal then huh rob probably yeah, the best prob- one prob- i think so just because um i mean disneyland is is i i get all the benefits of being in the park but for me the price point is just a little too high and we all kind of knew disneyland was going to be a little more expensive because it's disneyland but for what they're offering i just don't think it's worth it so for me i would say universal because i've not been there and it seems like it's a good value for what you're paying. Well, would you agree? Sorry, with what assessment? is that price tag? What's up? Wait, is that price tag on Disneyland? Uh, I think it's like total with parking. It's like seventy five bucks. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely pretty steep for uh, for like what you are getting. Um, I'm personally probably will be attending the Taste of Universal. I'm just fucking dying to get back in the park. It's been st- so long since i've been um i think last time i was there i think i was like there like right when the walking dead closed like a few days before can they just give um, us a little treat too and... like with tasty universal instead of like you know i know it's gonna be an all outdoor event but can they give us a little treat at least open up water world for us <laughs> yeah seriously that would, that would be cool i mean yeah. you know just a cue show we want like the cue <laughs> specifically want the cue yeah yeah exactly um but yeah i mean uh i think you said that there was a lot of just the regular park food that they were offering at uh the restaurants is that right tony yeah uh, with uh with what disney or universal with universal Universal. yeah universal uh they're going to be offering pretty much the same stuff in the park like all the restaurants and everything you're going to be able to use your card on that plus uh like you said will there's going to be a couple different uh vendors popping up selling other things as well maybe special food items so um, I'm, I'm just honestly, I'm, I think I'm on the same boat with you though. I just want to go back into Universal. And you know what might be kind of interesting is no one's seen, uh, at least I don't think so. Uh, no one's seen into like, well, I guess you wouldn't be able to see much because they're. I don't think they're opening the lower lot uh, mm. for the event. But we probably will be able to see into Mummy Q maybe from up there and see if anything's like remained because i know we were talking a few weeks ago about do we know if it's been taken down or something i have no idea i haven't seen it yet because i know we were uh, a few weeks ago about halloween three 
those yeah, uh, that was Waterworld. Those pictures in Waterworld that got left up. Um, so it could just be interesting, but also like I'm I'm so excited to just be back at Universal. I'm sick and tired of just like staring through the gates at City Walk. Like, <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> so close. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm I I I I'm really excited for that one. I really want it. it's something new. Uh, and you know, I, I had the opportunity, obviously we have the opportunity to go to many theme parks to do it, but the ones closest to me are going to be Disney universal and knots. Um, I've, I've done knots as tastings. They're great. Um, but I think the top of my list right now is universal cause it's just new. And you know, I haven't been in that park in well over almost two years going on about a year and a half maybe. Um, because the last time I was in that park was for horror nights in 2019 uh, closing night so about almost a year and a half um so i am just looking forward to going back to universal just to see that, um, all that stuff. actually you know now that i think about it i think it today might be the one year anniversary of the of the last time i was at universal potentially this was the last week when parks were, were open yeah so i remember i was at a on march it was on march 6th or something i went to disneyland to rise of resistance Oh man, the last week before it closed. Yeah. Oof, man. And people were already on edge about it and everything. There was hand sanitizer pumping stations everywhere. Uh, you hear people talking yeah. about it and side chit chat. It was just like starting. It was like the start of like the zombie apocalypse. You can just hear people talking <laughs> and starting to panic, and then like it fucking happened. I think it was the start of something new. If I'm right. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> ah, tomorrow, March seventh. Tomorrow. So, I mean, it, it, I'm looking forward to it, man, but I, I, only time will tell with Universal. We'll find out reviews for next week, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the only thing that would make Taste of Disney worth it, if it had the same quality of food that they normally have, um, like for like food and wine festival or the like holiday specials. But I, from what I'm hearing, is it's just going to be like the normal park food. Yeah. And they're not even giving you tastings. They're giving you $25 voucher, which is like – gonna buy me one meal if i'm lucky yeah yeah like if it was a taste if it was like five tastings then maybe it'd be worth the 75 with the photo pass and the parking and but it's like 25 dollar vouch i don't know are they are they including parking no you it's 25 yeah oh yeah but it's like an extra like 20 something bucks i think right no the parking's the parking's included with the 75 oh yeah so think about it though parking's the parking. 25 dollars so Get to park in Mickey and Friends. It would have been like. Well, I mean, I so are they trapping people, or are they gonna have them walk? The voucher, it's like twenty five bucks. They, uh, they're gonna have them walk because the they've already cleared the tram area and put like benches and um trash cans. The last I last time I seen, they haven't gotten rid of that stuff because they were like oh. everything they had done prior to wanting to open in July. They haven't redone. Sorry, speaking of parking uh so i was at uh city walk today and as we pulled up to the uh pulled up to like the the place where you get like your parking thing uh the lady goes like preferred or regular parking and it was a t they added a an option to do a ten dollar preferred parking at universal but regular but general parking is free so i don't know what that but I've never heard that before. Maybe just today, to park so. closer. I don't know. Um, I yeah. feel like they like you park in that, you know, that behind like the Tillys. Yeah. They let you park like right alongside there. But I, it's just, it's just interesting that they introduced that's, that. That's preferred like right there? That's, yeah, that's preferred. I mean, the last that's, time I went, which was back in like September, October, I believe, um, I parked right there and I, I got the free parking and I parked right there, no problem. And I walked right in. No one told me anything or anything. So they must have yeah, just changed that recently. Yeah, because there was a sign that was pointing that way, and then there was a like a you know where they do the the gun thing, to, like to check your temper, check your check your temperature <laughs> and hand sanitizer and stuff like that. So interesting. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but you know, I don't know, man. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this has to offer, and I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be fun. Sammy, you and I watched. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we watched a, a very, um, very good film, and I think, oh, our opinions, right? Beautiful film. Beautiful. Beautiful I don't think he's film. being sarcastic there either. Like it's a legit, great film. Great film. 
It's uh, Willy's Wonderland. Um, we watched it. Uh, if you guys don't know, our boy Grant Kramer uh, produced it, uh, starring Nick Cage. And he plays a janitor who's got to clean up Willy's Wonderland in one night. Uh, but the animatronics are coming to life and killing as like a sacrifice because, you know, some shady shit go down there. Sammy, what do you th- what did you think of this film overall, man? We we really kind of were going in like eh, it might be good, but you know it's still, you know, but then we watched it and we're like, holy shit! So I will preface it with this: we did watch it with our boy Connor Connor FL. Check out his channel. Link will be below. Yes, sir. Um, and I think that's what made it fun was being able to enjoy the good and the bad that comes with it because it is a B movie at its core, and um, part of being a B movie is there's just some fun stuff that happens sometimes. But uh, the plot was really cool. I mean, the idea of something happens, he's now agreed to basically look over the old land here and uh, get it cleaned up. I thought it was super cool. Obviously, one of the best endings to a movie and that's beating um one of my favorites uh from the uh firefly trilogy i believe that's what they're called the devil's rejects the devil's rejects because that also has a banging ending and goes out balls to the walls and this movie goes out even better free bird that's all i'm gonna say wow Bro, you, you spoiled it, bro. I, I didn't want to say it, but... He already called it. What are you talking about? You compared Devil's Rejects to that. It's like, what made that iconic ending for Devil's Rejects? Fucking Freebird. What made this a great ending? Yeah, I never even... I was just talking about Devil's Rejects. I didn't I didn't actually know it. I didn't know yeah. that it was in that other movie. So. Well, now everyone knows. Oops. That's just a small <laughs> portion of a better movie. It was why everybody knows that ending scene from... <laughs> from devil's rejects that's like a, that's a fantastic fucking that's ending. like an iconic <laughs> movie ending right there yeah that's a great ending. ending yeah almost as great as a halloween 2018 when we find out how michael myers gets out of fire i'm very excited <laughs> yeah i'm excited too whenever we get that damn movie um still waiting on that still waiting on black widow still waiting on james bond still waiting on quiet place part two didn't forget oh we you know what i this is about Halloween, the next one, we're probably going to get some homages to Halloween 4 because at the beginning of that movie, Michael Myers is all in bandages and stuff like that for uh, the like mechanic scene and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. Well, they've, shown, right his, they've shown his mask, what he's going to be wearing for the movie, and half of it's burned. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. um, I was going to say, but... we don't talk about Halloween 4, man. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> but I know what you're doing. I know you're really excited for Ford Tony. What am I excited? The worst about? film of 2021 coming out in two weeks. Fuck off. The, the film that Fuck is going to disappoint million. It's not. How much no. you want to bet? It won't. It's not. Even it's Rob a, says it's not. Don't you dare, Sammy. Be, don't you dare. Four hours of disappointment coming to your screen bet you via won't. HBO Max. In a society where... Zack Snyder put out a four-hour Justice League cut. The cut we deserved. That was the movie we deserved. It was the movie we rightfully deserved that did not happen. We protested for us. that shit for three years. No, yeah, no. You deserve a good movie. We'll see yeah. if you get what you deserve. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it's... I'm on Will's page. You deserve a very good movie. I can tell I'm you this right hard. now: anything's better than a CGI mustache. <laughs> I'm not before I see it, but I I have my reservations. Here, I have my here, reservations. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <clears throat> is I I feel like I've said this before, and I'll continue to say it. Is that I know what I got with Justice League, and it was it was it was garbage in my opinion. <laughs> so anything better than garbage, I'm going to be happy with. And Snyder. And Snyder, I trust, and he is going Snyder to deliver. Snyder don't make shit movies, bro. He don't. 300, fantastic. Watchmen, fantastic. Sucker Punch, fantastic. 
Man of Steel, fantastic. I will even fight for Batman v Superman. Fucking the, great. The 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 direct was it the ultimate direct, edition? So the ultimate edition, awesome movie. Complete it. It do not watch the regular theatrical Batman v Superman. You got to watch the ultimate edition. R rated one. Man, yes. Where Batman yes. Fucking destroys people. Yes. It's great. He's making a new movie, a fucking zombie heist. I am so pumped for that, dude. I don't know why they're heisting mm-hmm. during a zombie apocalypse. I, I don't know why, but it's going to be fucking fantastic. You got Dave Bautista with the giant-ass gun going to go raid Las Vegas <laughs> and go into a fucking vault, steal yeah. a ton of money, and then try to get out of there. But I know it's not going to end well for them because it's fucking zombies and Dave Bautista. But the only thing he can do is fucking spear them and hit them with the Bautista bomb. It's going to be good, though. Wow. That, that's, that's actually quite the uh, movie concept. When does that come out? That comes out, you know? I, think, in a, I think, in May on Netflix. Yeah. Interesting. It's like Interesting. Ar- Army of the Dead or something or something like that. I don't remember. But Zack Snyder doing fucking – Zack Snyder did the remake for Dawn of the Dead, and that movie was great. That, I love that movie. I love that movie. Yeah, man. But he's known as the guy who makes zombies run. <laughs> I don't like that concept because I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't like it because they would get me yeah let's do walking dead zombies I think I have a better chance yeah I can handle that I can handle that How the power walking dead yeah All speaking you, of the walking about dead as much as Tony can handle speaking of the walking dead did you see the CDC has a fucking plan for a zombie apocalypse here we go they've already, they've, they've, that plan's been there forever no I know but it's just ironic how they would bring it to people's attention after the vaccine comes out I'm just saying you heard it here first. Conspiracy. Get your tin foil. Tin foil. Rob's like, ready. shit, I already got the vaccine. I got Lucille right over there, so we're good. Yeah, man. That's just it's just ironic to me, man. They just want to bring that into light when vaccines are going out, man. <laughs> that, like, got me scared to get it again. I was, like, all full on board. I was, like, I'm getting the vaccine. Going to go through with it. No one's stopping me. Then the CDC released that again. I'm, like, Fuck. <laughs> I'm at a complete halt. But do you, now. but do you think they would warn you before? If yeah, for the people who probably didn't get the damn vaccine, you know. they're like, "Hey guys, just letting you know, if, uh, if you didn't get the vaccine, uh, here, read this." Instead of doing something effective like doing a full recall, uh, they're like, "Ah, you know what? Let's, let's get a recall to like millions of people like, who probably already got it." Let's see if catch on. Oh, oh my god, god man. it's like it's like funny. the time the fucking pentagon released uh ufo footage and no one paid attention to it because there was so much stuff. oh yeah no one fucking said anything yeah because there was They're so like, much yeah, stuff going on at the time it. that just no one paid attention to it there's like yo guys watch this <laughs> guys watch this <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world let's drop something they won't even know about it <laughs> the fucking ufo footage man they've had that probably for yeah. fucking years We've been fully transparent the whole time. You guys just <laughs> didn't look. You're just, you fucking lazy. If you ask your name. You go, any other UFO person would be eating this up, but no, not today. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I just found that kind of interesting around the time. And ironically, what's the what's the plot of I Am Legend? Yeah. A failed vaccine. Will Smith never out. lies, man. <laughs> a failed vaccine that turned everyone into zombies. What's Sammy going to say on this topic? He's... No, what was the cure again? Huh? What was the cure? Will Smith's blood, I think. Oh, well, then we're fine, bro. We'll just all take Will Smith's blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, well, it depends what ending Will you Smith. watch now. I mean, because there's, there's yeah. two endings to that film, which I think, much like the Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition, I think the alternate ending where Will Smith lives is the better ending. But what does he do in that one? So in the in the original ending, he he sacrifices himself uh, to kill all those zombies to give those other two people time to take off and and go to the the, the hideout. In the uh, in the alternate ending, he goes with them, given they give they got enough time, so he ends up going with them to the hideout. So he ends up living. So oh. I mean, I think it's a better ending. They also predicted Batman versus Superman. That, that is ending. true. That yep. is true. It was on a, it was on a billboard they while he was logo driving right there. Yeah. That exact one. So really, what was the yeah. what was the company that put out that movie uh, for the studio? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was Warner Brothers, but I don't know. <laughs> was it Warner Brothers? I think it was. Um, yeah, wasn't Lionsgate? Me? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, that sounds I'm like a Lionsgate that movie. Like, that's interesting. 
What if they were just like they were teasing it well before they had an established universe ready to go? Like we want to make this movie. Yeah, with this logo. <laughs> I was like, I want we to beat see the MCU. So if you really think about it, we beat the MCU. Good marketing. We created all. We no created all. fucking way. No fucking way. Distributed by Warner Bros. Pictures. Yep. And that came out in like 2010, didn't it? Or way before that? 2009, I think, came out. Yeah. Oh, seven. I am loving seven. Oh, seven. Batman when did Superman, Superman didn't come out till like what, 2015, 16? Yeah. Yeah, so, 16, I think. It's a whole like. What? It came out May 2nd, 2008. Later. They beat him by one fucking year. So, like, MCU, we got you. <laughs> yeah. We already had it planned before you even started yours. <laughs> not, uh, I'm just letting, letting our, this is me speaking to our viewers now, not just talking to you guys, but, you know, this, what other podcasts can you find doing the research to tell you that right. the DC universe exactly. was that's created right. before the Marvel universe? Yeah, man, they knew. We're they bringing you the important shit here. We are, man. There's <laughs> yeah. other stuff out yeah. there that you could be watching, and but we're giving you this stuff, and it's way more important than whatever you were trying to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Exactly. You guys, I'm going to talk right now because I was talking. And uh... <laughs> what are you talking about? Rob? <laughs> oh no, you, you made me think of something when you were talking about alternate endings. Um, did you ever? There wasn't like actual video footage. I think it was just um, <clears throat> like sketched of. It was. It's 28 days later. I, 28 days later and 28 weeks later, right? Those are the. Those are the two. The two. Okay, so 28 days later, there was an alternate ending. Did you ever see anything? For I've never that, seen those films. <clears throat> you've never seen Twenty Eight Days Later or Twenty Eight Weeks Later? No, nope. dude, they're really good. To even, I think the second one, Twenty Eight Weeks Later, is better than the first the only, one. The only thing I know about that franchise is that LMFAO made a video uh, when they did Party Rockin', and it was based around Twenty Eight Days Later. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. I look up the Party Rock that. anthem Sorry song, and rocking. it says like Twenty Eight Days Later, or Twenty Eight Weeks Later, or something like that. And they, sorry instead for party of, rocking. Yeah. No, no, uh no uh party rock anthem. They have they have two songs. Well, no. There's party rock anthem and then sorry for party rocking. Party rock hey, anthem. Music video for... There's a music video for both of them. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Um but and then instead of zombies it was everybody that was shuffling to their <laughs> song and then it was, it, was, it was funny, everybody started shuffling. You know, Sammy used to be quite the shuffler back in the day. Yeah, Timmy, so, uh, but, can imagine shuffle for us. Yeah, but I, I did a, I did a different kind of shuffle. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar. There's just you know it's a good eighties film. It's called the the Goonies, the <laughs> and I did the, the 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 truffle shuffle. That was my specialty. <laughs> the truffle shuffle. That's that's all. It's all Sammy right there. Man. Yeah, the truffle shuffle. You better uh, demonstrate hey, my right own, now, guys. You gotta, I gotta pay for my own. You gotta pay for my OnlyFans to get the feet pics in the truffle shuffle. <laughs> Link below. Don't want that. I'm good. You know what? I'll I'll pay for it, Sammy. <laughs> I know you thinking. Dude, um, Tony's actually putting on a front. He's his only follower on OnlyFans right now. Fucking shout oh, out to Tim Rob. And Logan. Rob, got, Rob, Rob yeah, yeah. made us some new friends, man. <laughs> I made you new friends? Yeah, Halloween Depot. Oh, yeah, Halloween Depot. Yeah, dude, those guys are awesome. Yeah, Halloween Depot, Horrorville, uh, out in Southgate, California, beautiful Southgate, California. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys saw on our channel a few weeks ago, Rob put out a commentary video of him uh, going through the Horrorville uh, Halloween Depot pop-up shop that they are going to try to do once a month. Uh, the next one is on the 13th, right, Rob? That's right. That's we will right. be there. Um me and Rob will be there as well as my Faja. So it should be a fun time. My dad's always wanted to go because uh, it's the same company who does Toy Depot. And he's been wanting to go check them out. So he wanted to check this one out uh, to see what they're about. I think he was going to sell some toys to them and they were going to buy them off of them. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to check this out. Uh, Rob got to talk with the owners. And uh, I've, I've messaged them through Instagram. And they are very nice people, very supportive people. Yeah. And uh, we're just glad to be helping out a uh, small business in a time of need right now to promote any way we can um, their events, uh, their their small business. Um, this is going to be, I think, the next Frankensons 
for the horror community, honestly. Uh, it's like literally a, a small warehouse, which is nothing but horror things if you watch Rob's video, uh, from, you know, toys to memorabilia, uh, masks, uh, you know, creative knickknacks such as like uh, like bracelets and all that. You know, there's a lot of creative people out there in the horror world that, that, that ha put their art to work or sell a lot of cool things. So we want to support them any way we can. Uh, so check them out. Uh, you have to get a ticket, but the ticket is free. They just want to do it so they have a head count of how many people are going. Um, uh, go on their go on their Instagram Halloween Depot, and then click the link in the bio. You can get yourself your ticket. It's free to register, um, and the ticket is free. Like I said, they just want to do it so they can keep an eye on people of how many people are coming, so they can follow uh, state guidelines and regulations. But I think it's going to be Wait, how much is it again? Free ninety nine. Okay, okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, man, you had to just jump in there and do that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The funny part is, you know what the funny part is always talking with Sammy is like when when you say something, you got to wait for like two or three seconds like how they do on the news because he's got to unmute his damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, there it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a freaking news reporter, dude. You're talking to them in studio and then all of a sudden you get that like five second delay. Hmm. Cut into our correspondent in Arizona. Uh, hey, Sammy. Bob, how you doing? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, Rob, it's uh, it's just another lovely day out here in the AZ. If I if I do say so myself, uh, we do have some uh, late breaking news. Um, um, it looks like uh, coming up with a uh, Haunt Depot, they are going to give away free tickets, and you just got to go to their website and register. Because you know what, in this uncertain times, we have to make sure we know who's going to be there, how many people are be there, and so we can follow state guidelines. So we can so make support sure small businesses too. Oh, well, make sure well, we'll get there. We'll get to the small businesses. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and register, bring some cash, going to support the small businesses. And we're going to help stimulate the economy. And, and guess uh, what? We wanna think, Nothing we want to think of. Something you didn't know <laughs> about. John Mazzari is going to be there March 13th. Wow. And who are those Boy, who don't know John, John Mazzari on? Um, there's this great film that Tony adores um, almost more than life itself. Um, killer clowns from outer space he is the composer he is a friend of the channel he will be there he'll sign some stuff for you is someone else gonna be take a too. picture with you who else uh, we, got uh, a, we got we got the late breaking news here uh bring it in rob uh i just it eddie eddie munster's supposed to be there i don't know the actors uh God, it's like but it's like butch something right butch patrick eddie there Munster butch, from the yeah. original monsters tv show is going yes. to be there. I don't know what he's going to be doing. If they're going to let people, you know, sign autographs, take pictures. Um, I know with socially distant times, uh, you know, it's a little bit hard to do these things, but they're going to try their best and work out a system that works best. And who knows? This could be the new Frankenstein. Maybe uh, we can get the homie Grant Kramer down there and sign some autographs. What uh, what I recommend actually, because I just witnessed this with the Easter Bunny at Knott's Berry Farm, is they put a barrier between you and said person said celebrity and you just take a picture from a little distance you're about six feet away maybe they'll pre-sign all their stuff yeah yeah or that too that way it's just you you have they have them right there take your picture grab your picture autographed and and uh and get your memorabilia yeah but, man yeah i mean it looks like they got a lot of good stuff too man they got a whole wall just dedicated to the masks and and they're selling i think this next one aren't they, aren't they giving away two uh um, yes, they're, they're, child's they're play doing, dolls and a yeah, Annabelle doll. Yeah, they're doing a they're doing a raffle. I think it's it's a ten dollars to to enter the raffle, but they are giving away, uh, yeah, two child's play dolls and an Annabelle doll that look amazing. You gonna get? We're gonna try to win that Annabelle doll for Sammy. I'm gonna ship it out to uh, Arizona. We're gonna have it stuck somewhere where he can't like remove it at all. <laughs> We're gonna put like "Do not remove from glass." Uh, the exact sign and and thing from. The Conjuring, so every night she looks at you while you sleep. Yeah, reel it into the center of his room. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of prayer. Um, I'm always <laughs> ready to go. Um, Bust no out that rosary. To, no need to fret, my dear Marius. I don't feel any pain. We do got our Bible here. Ready set the Bible on top times. of Annabelle's. Uh... Always next to my bed. Always within <laughs> arm's reach. We got the Bible. Dude, I you're gonna you're things. gonna end up buying. It's gonna be like the Conjuring. You're gonna end up buying a cross for your wall, and one night she's gonna turn upside down. Also, I got another man protecting me next to my bed. 
as always, Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, and, 44th president of the United States there and even better Michelle we got both of them ready to go protection and the, and the, and the 44th finest. president's first lady if no one got me I know Michelle and Barack Obama oh, got me <laughs> oh <laughs> man they're raining hell storm down on this Annabelle doll man bro we got the power of Jesus Barrick and <laughs> Michelle Barrick <laughs> He would not be happy of you saying his name like that, man. I'm sorry, Barack. Real big fan, though. I love you to the dearest. <laughs> wait, wait, Sammy. I got. I know you have like you got like a Brock invitation, right? You got. Uh, you got to do it, right? Come on, let's hear it. Uh, a Barack. I, I do not have. A, I wish I had a Barack invitation. Uh... I, I don't have one. I, I I haven't mastered how to talk slow and be persuasive well, as like he is. Well, look, we're working on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's we're good. Gonna, we're going to go down. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the House. And I'm going to take it to the Senate. Okay? So, look. About 9.45, morning. Went down to Pakistan. And I uh, saw Bin Laden right there. And uh, had the SEAL Team 6 with me. And we went in. And I went, la di bitch. Shot him. And uh, that was the end of Bin Laden. Then I went back on the plane. Had myself here some uh, nice gourmet steak. Michelle had the, uh, the ravioli. We went back to D.C. And uh, made the announcement today. That's 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 it's amazing. In kids that's in amazing. pages later, and um, that was a that was a day that was a day's work. That was a day. It was a great day in the White House. We uh we killed Bin Laden, secured my presidency for four more years. All right, I guess I guess it, that's that's how he ends his book. Actually, is with the with the Bin Laden story. Body daddy. <laughs> Body daddy. I, uh, I took most of that material from Chris Tucker. That guy does an amazing Barack Obama impersonation, and Man. he does a great. Um, what's his name? Um, Bill Clinton impersonation. It's hilarious. Um, uh, Trevor Noah does a Barack does a Barack impression. <laughs> I love Trevor Noah. Okay, so we got we all have to have someone. Everyone in this room has to do an impersonation of somebody who does like a good impersonation. Rob, what do you do an impersonation of? That's good. I just mock everyone that I meet. I'm not even gonna know what mine. You're everyone is. in this call, Rob. So everyone has no, I, a, an impersonation. No, no, like I mean, like uh, I, you, you I, set yourself up. No, no, like, like I do, like I, I, like I do my mother-in-law, or like I'll do my wife, or I don't. I mean, I, <clears throat> I practice or like Brock, but I would know, like I'm not gonna touch Tony's Brock. So, um, <clears throat> I do, uh, I do kind of a mockery one of our former president uh, that that's a kick with some people um and i also i also uh sometimes i do like elmo i got elmo for the kids you know like uh <laughs> <Tickle Elmo. laughs> like you know <clears throat> along those wow. lines <clears throat> so you know i i i kind of just you know i kind of i'm not a master of anything i just kind of a jack of all you know what i got a pretty good elmo too uh greetings children uh today we're gonna be learning on a count of five I, how would you say that one stacks up to rob's elmo <laughs> sounds pretty good I, i've been working on that one for or months it's like uh it's like the ramones every time i i do the ramones this is how i do the ramones i go i'm the lead singer right i go did he count to five what down that part <laughs> <laughs> DD count to four. One, two, three, four. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> Got Al-Qaeda a, Katrina. Got a nice uh, Rick impersonation I can do. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, so Rick, what do you think about all these uh, theme parks uh, opening up? Well, I have to tell you, Anthony, this is all bullshit. Uh, I, I really don't care about the theme parks. Uh, me and Morty, we were on uh, C4147 mm-hmm. and... Uh, it just didn't make sense to me. So, uh, yeah, you guys can go to hell. <laughs> you know, Anthony actually uh, I got the ability to impersonate <clears throat> Rick after downing three gallons of McDonald's Szechuan sauce. He actually kept the <laughs> packets as memorabilia. But I the packets, and I was like, bestowed with that gift. It was really good sauce back in the 90s from Home Alone. It was really good. It was called Szechuan sauce, and they took it away. Which is the impression of us. Man, gotta, you guys gotta work on burping now. All these, uh, all these talented mm-hmm. impressionists in here. I, mm-hmm. I need to work on my impressions. I did like two. I don't know if I could do any more. Here we go. Wait. Here, here's my go-to impression at all times. At all times. I'm 
Welcome, Batman. Yeah, Bat Rob. Here's the thing, Tony. Yes, Samuel is a very smart individual. Because he has not only the Bible, but he has Barack's book, which I also have right next to my desk in the Batcave that I read every night before I go to bed. Swear on it. There you go. That's uh, always my go-to. Also, Christian Bale. Are we ignoring the impressions that we did in between uh, recordings here? Tony, get your fucking cup. Oh. There's that one scene where he goes to the stock exchange and the guy goes, This is a stock exchange. There's no money here. Why are you people here? <laughs> Rob, do, Rob, do the uh, opening scene of him on the plane. Oh, uh, let's see. All right. Perhaps he's wondering why you would shoot a man before throwing him from a plane. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. It doesn't involve the Batman, because I broke his back. The fire rises. <laughs> oh, man. What do you got? What do you got, Sammy? What do you got? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I get scared when it comes to impressions. Mm. Cause... I'll tell you what. Sammy is a good Elton John impersonator. <laughs> 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 Rocket Man. <laughs> we went to a, a Mumford and Sons concert like the day, the Saturday. It was the weekend of Midsummer Screen, so we we did Midsummer Scream Saturday. Drove all the way out to Los Angeles to go see Mumford and Sons right after. We barely made it, by the way. Like the closing band had just finished, and they were setting up for Mumford. Um, and we're leaving the Mumford and Sons concert, and we're driving out. We're just waiting because it's like a long line to get out, and fucking. We were we were listening to Rocket Man because uh, I think we we had just seen um, Rock the movie Rocket Man, and so we were all listening to Alton John songs and we we were pulling out right and he has this guy has his window down this old lady's walking to her car and the, the Rocket Man song comes and he goes Rocket Man like points right <laughs> at her and everything <laughs> so that just became a thing like we'd go to the theme parks I'm like hey Sammy hit him with the Rocket Man and he'd go out of nowhere and just look at someone and go Rocket Man it's <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. So, you know, I'm hoping he does that during haunt season. You know, just someone scared you just does uh, scream and you go, new, man. Uh, reflex. <laughs> I think he's going to be a long, long time. <laughs> oh, man. We have a lot of fun here on the Nights of War. This is the fun channel. Yeah. Yes, we do. If anyone's yeah. made it this far, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm From not, the bottom I, of our hearts. I, I apologize for nothing. Doing here? I do. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> Man, no re we, have a, no we have a lot of good content coming out in the channel in the next month, uh, the next rest of the year, hopefully. Um, we got a lot of stuff that we're going to be working on um, series-wise, all that fun stuff. There's a lot of stuff I have up in here that I might want to bring to reality pretty soon. So we'll see where that goes. Um, may in involve all of you for... For some of it too so um got a got a new short film that i'm uh currently keeping my eye on Ooh. it's called the devil's got my arms uh, i want everyone to keep their eye on that as well it looks pretty good uh the guy who's directing and wrote it is um a friend of of mine and uh yeah I'm, I'm super stoked for this project it's gonna be it looks like it's gonna be good man i mean we've only gotten a small teaser uh, trailer supposed to come out in summer, so I'm excited to see what that what that brings to the table. I'm I'm starting to support indie guys now, man. We got to support the indies, man. Got to get them up to where they need to be. Um, super excited for that. I uh, can't wait to see that. It's gonna be good. Um, but with that being said, uh, if you guys wait, enjoy... one more thing, okay. I've got something to say. Um, was I on the real though? Uh, uh, congratulations to the Buccaneers. Super Bowl champions made Sam a very happy man in February and the rest of this offseason. Thank you, Tom Brady. Thank you, Big Gronk. And thank you, the defense, for uh, really making me happy this year. You're talking about the 24-7, former 24-7 champ? Champion, <laughs> Rob Gronkowski. The former 24-7 champion, Rob Gronkowski, man. The host of WrestleMania last year. <laughs> I wonder if he'd host yeah. WrestleMania this year because he didn't really get a proper hosting. 
Bro, if the entire team should be there. I mean, it's in Tampa. Tom so Brady's going to host WrestleMania. Everybody's going to be pissed. <laughs> but the people Bro, in Tampa because they fucking... Me. <laughs> okay, but did he even sign to re- did he re-sign with Bucks or is he Yeah, he's done? got one more year. He's got one more year. Yeah, he's yeah, he's got a, another year with them. Did he yeah. didn't he just do one year and did he or did he do two years? He did no. two, he did a two year contract. So he's gonna two years like 50 million. To, he's going to bring back the Super Bowl again. Back to back like Drake baby. He's going to freaking be like, you guys really want to go to the Super Bowl. That's all you got to do is just make the phone call and offer me the right price. Bro, the money was right. The players were right. We, we bring it in back. The ball was the right pressure. Oh. Bro, everything, bro. <laughs> Low blow, we sent the refs, Will. Ooh. We sent the refs the paychecks. You know, they all, <laughs> everything was good. They all, came in with, uh, they all came in with Tahoes that night. Yeah, and no, pay, with, no, uh, pay, no paychecks the, bounced or anything. They came yeah, in with Tahoes hey. and they left us a little big, bigger Tahoe. It's uh, called the Avalanche, you know. The four thousand dollars right there. Bro, bro, I'm just saying, if I eat, everybody eats, right? That's that's the motto, right? I mean, so, I'm just I mean, thinking, Brady you know, eats, the refs eat too. I mean, that's that's the motto. <laughs> I'm going for the Seahawks this year, man. That's my team this year. Good luck. You have a new team every year. No, I just I started getting into football, and now I had to pick a team, and it was the Seattle Seahawks. I'll go with the I'll go with the process of elimination real quick. I can't do Chargers. I can't do Rams. Don't like either of them. Why is that? I just can't stand them. Um, I'm not doing the Raiders. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a that's an obvious like reason why that's a no. Um, look at the dog. Um, oh. that's not, the team. I'm the guest star right there. <laughs> the guest star. Starting, that's the starting running back right there. Exactly. He does run pretty quick. She's a baby. Just attach the freaking ball to ball its collar. Ball two, low center of gravity. Attach hard the ball. To ta- to- yeah, hard to tackle. Air Bud who, right? <laughs> this is Ellie Bud. She Allie runs faster than Air Bud. Not going to be a so Cowboys fan. She by a 300-pound lineman. And... <laughs> no, no Cowboys for me. Nah, Cowboys be... all the way. Oh, yeah, Rob's a Cowboys fan. I am a Cowboys yeah. fan. Not going to be a Bucks fan because that would make you a bandwagon fan. And I want to do that. Hey, bro, I, 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 I'm rocking with Pete. Not going to be a bro, 49ers can, fan. Bro, I, I'm the advocate. You already know I'm the advocate. You are the advocate. For what? My client, Mr. Sam. Tony Zaragoza. Yeah, you're going to hear it here. You're going to hear it first, right here today on this podcast. This is not a prediction, ladies and gentlemen. This is a spoiler. In 2021, the Knights of Four is coming for TLEV, and we are going for a three-peat, ladies and gentlemen. You can count it with me. One, two, three, and that's what it's going to be. We are the reigning, undisputed, try not to get scared champions of the world. We are a fighting champion. Leave a comment below if you want some. Bless, I remind you, eat, sleep, don't get scared, repeat. I didn't you expect that. Know I didn't expect a, a promo this early on. The, it's hey, We are a fighting champion. This is going to be uh, awkward for the next TLV show I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Let him know. So Let him know. <laughs> Oh man, I, I might have to just clip that out for Instagram purposes and whatnot. You, you know where we are, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna not, we're gonna have not only one try not to get scared challenge ring, not two try not to get scared challenge rings, but now we're gonna go for a third one. Sooner or later, hey, we'll baby. have enough to fit one hand. Oh, it's gonna be five, it's gonna five be, time. It's gonna be sad if we if we win a third year in a row, man. I'm almost gonna feel sorry for them. They want to give them the belt, but I'm not. Going I, I don't. I don't feel sorry for anyone. We going for Ric Flair's record, maybe sixteen times. I'm going for what? Archer's twenty four seven title record, <laughs> fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do this shit till I'm a senior citizen, man. <laughs> I will do this shit. We've been going how many years now? Three years strong with this. Next yeah. year, this year will be the fourth consecutive year of this challenge. Yep. Um, and the biggest thing I keep hearing is that because there was no Thomas, there was no win. Ooh, I'm hearing excuses. 
Well, if he wants to play that game, well, you know, if I want to guarantee a win, I mean, because I can, I can probably, you know, I can do it solo. I did it with Tim. I hope Tim kind of sits, sits out next next round, but um, <laughs> it's just embarrassing for the words. channel. They lost two years in a row, and it's because of him. Wow. But, you know, I mean, I got You know what? They said no Thomas, no win. No Will, we still won. No Will, we still won. What are you talking still about? Won. And I was the one who won it for us uh, 2019. Uh, I know, Will here. Actually, take the title, Will. There you go. Yeah, let me just... Uh... <laughs> Oh, sorry. Technology you know? hasn't come that far yet. You know, if, if I could, I would just, that you know, I would phase it to you and he Fucking can wear it. Fucking teleport, yeah. Um, we got the advocate, Sammy. Great advocate. It's going to mm -hmm. probably be doing another promo in the suit again because not a lot of people got to see that one because of issues with other places. Um, yeah. You know, this year we're going to have, if we do have Horn I mean, even if we don't have Horn I I have my ways, man. I got Rob. Unless he doesn't break, unless, unless, as long as unless he doesn't I, let him break, let him break, break down. He almost break broke Corona Haunt. <laughs> so they, they, it was kind of tight, man. I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty broad individual. So he almost it was, broke Corona Haunt. I would have been like, thing, shit, guys, we got to pay for this now. Here's the thing, guys. I just want you guys to know, uh, this is, this is, uh, something I keep deep inside because when it comes out, it's furious and fiery. As you guys know, I've been a pro wrestling fan pretty much my entire life, and I lived a lot of life. My my promos. I've lived a lot of life. I've lived a lot of life, <laughs> <laughs> so it means I'm old. My promos are destructive. Like I, me, and, I have a friend who me and him just back and forth will send each other snaps and videos of us just ripping each other apart because we both love wrestling so much just cutting promos on each other as for fun, but just tearing each other down. I have held a secret cause I didn't want to expose it to you guys and, 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 you know, scare anyone away, but I'm letting you know that my promo cutting skills are upper echelon. Tony's Frankenstein now. Oh, he's Frankenstein. Was, your, your promos were yeah. so heat that he just turned into Frankenstein. There you go. There you go. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. He's, I turned him to stone. Exactly. So, so we'll, we'll be getting a, a Rob promo this year. Poss That's what I'm hearing. Poss possibly, Ooh. possibly. Here's the thing: is when, when, when they were going back and forth, you know, I was like, oh, oh, oh wow. what, what? No. Oh, no, the fiend is here. No, oh. oh, but he disappeared. Look at that. Well, that's what, that's what the fiend does. He uh, shows up, creates what chaos. And disappears. Um, the fiend. Did your Wi-Fi go out or something? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I mean, you guys were frozen, so I couldn't really hear you. What are you? What are you talking yeah. About? Um, I really. I think, bro, Spectrum's got issues, bro. Making you waste some longer vision. Now <laughs> making... I think we started with Spectrum. Here's the thing: is I don't want to talk about what just happened because I'm a little afraid. I might poop myself if we get into it. So. I don't even know what happened. So I mean. You're glad. You should be glad you don't know what happened because I feel like um, words were said. I'm gonna blame Samuel for this because words were said, <laughs> and I feel like someone from the beyond heard it and showed up for a second, and yeah. he looked he looked not happy. So you I mean, didn't showed up like the the fiend. I didn't want to say friend. that. Yeah, our uh, friend. Our fr friend. The fiend hasn't someone. made an appearance since yeah. Haunt Season 2020. What well, do you mean he showed up? He showed it's, up. I'm just saying it's he a halfway. Did. It's around the halfway mark. It's of, only uh, March. I know some events started March seventh and across the state. So, well, halfway there. I don't think the fiend sleeps. So, that's true. I don't know where. Yeah, you got to record that next time uh, he comes on. Well, we'll try to get him next time. Try to get him on the show. Uh, but, Maybe he'll talk. Yeah, I'll ask him a couple questions. I was I was scared. Yeah. I was a little worried, so I didn't want to say anything. And I wanted to show him the respect that he deserved showing up. So I didn't say anything. But next time, I'll ask him a couple questions, as as I should have. I apologize for that. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you heard it here. <laughs> 2021. This title is not going anywhere. And 
another message for Tim. Just sit it out, man. It's just embarrassing at this point. Really, it's, <laughs> it's very embarrassing. It had to be two years in a row that you you cost them the title. Um, it's it's better if you go. He's already it, dead. Take it easy, bro. It's, it's, it's better if you just go back behind the scenes where you started. Um, Me. Maybe, maybe next time I, cause the last time I needed someone to hold my back. So, I mean, that he can didn't assist hit anything. Rob camera he can ass- yeah, he can assist me. He can assist me. I'm always, just, you know, I'm open. I'm open. Just stay home. Wait, yeah. Just yeah. Wait, home. you can come, but don't, don't get in the ring. Just don't get in the ring. Cause it's going to be like the Royal Rumble. I'm going to toss you out as fast as Santino Morella. Ooh, Ooh, that was like one second. I mean, that first scare is going to come and he's going to flinch, so. And you know what? I've been hearing hearing rumors and talks of me supposedly cheating last year. So I'm going to do you one better. We're going to do the competition different this year. We're going to record one by one. One person is going to go in, get reactions. The next person is going to go in. And I'm going to tally up how many reactions there are. So there's no someone cheated, someone couldn't see me, someone is in back of me. There's none of that. It's one on one. Fair game. Fair game. Your move. Check, bitch. With that being said, what a <laughs> interesting ending to shoot the shit. I was trying to end this podcast, I think, like twenty minutes ago, but uh, you know, it's, it's okay. Uh, I didn't know we were cutting the promo today, and I'm glad I jumped right into promo mode. So, um, this is gonna be awkward for not this tomorrow's episode of the TLV show but next week's when this comes out it's gonna be very awkward thanks sammy appreciate that yeah just blame samuel for that that's off i took my hat off my hair is really bad uh with that being said uh i hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast uh you'll see these guys on episode 15 of shoot the shit uh until then we got a couple guests line up um to talk about uh some aftermath of the queen mary dark harbor slider team takeover uh, a very special, a good friend of ours, Mr. Scott Dieterman, will be on the show pretty soon. As well as uh, if I can get my hands on any other boo bros who haven't been on this show, uh, we'll bring them on. But until then, we as a team are your Try Not To Get Scared champion. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace. See ya. You're moving into a dimension of mind. You're moving into a Wait, yo, is the audio better or worse now? What'd you do? Did you put on AirPods too? Oh, I put in AirPods. Everybody's just is it better or worse? AirPods, huh? I don't have AirPods. It sounds good. It doesn't sound bad. These aren't these aren't mine. These are my sister's. I just stole them. Uh, but does it sound better? Because I could take them out. I just was wondering if because I don't know if the computer like mic is super good. It sounds good to me. What do you guys? It's think? A, yeah, it's a, it's. I think it sounds. I think it sounds a little better. Okay, cool. So, it's an improvement, right, Rob. Wait, how, well, how do I intro this thing? Welcome back to another episode of Shoot the Shit. Okay. We're going to shoot your shit in this new episode. Wait, so, okay, so this is pretty uh, much. That's a good slogan. Uh, hey, everyone, welcome back to the Knights of Horror. This is another episode of Shoot the Shit. Um, I am now your new host, Rob. Take it away, Tony. <laughs> was that a practice one or was that a real thing? I think it was a practice. I, I don't. I've never done it before. Let's see. Uh, um, I, I feel like Sammy should do it because he's done it before. Well, yeah, either way, we've been recording for a minute, so this is okay. Hilarious. Okay. <laughs> oh, so the intro already happened. We're yeah, the intro already happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can guarantee the intro already happened. This yeah, Tony's right. not cutting this. <laughs> yeah. No, this is all going in. Oh there. man, I'm this okay is with too that. Much work. This I'm is already okay. too much work for Tony. He's got to yeah. cut. Have Maybe. you been seeing how I've been gonna... doing the podcast lately? We talked about too much work. Get out of here. <laughs> this was going to – he's going to – well, that was the cold open, and then he's going to put his – How often do I right actually now? keep a cold open, though? Come on now. Wait, so are we doing it again, or uh, <laughs> or did that really happen? <laughs> was that the really doing it again, I guess. <laughs> I'm okay if you want to leave it like that. I'm okay with it, but uh, – was that the way I did it? How okay. About, how about everyone does Everybody's an intro and then I'll choose the best one and you guys won't even know whose intro was. I like that. I like that idea. I do like that Yo, idea. Welcome to Robin intro. 
I do There's like. It's gonna that be a idea. jack of all trades. Like you're gonna it, the only mystery game that we're gonna be playing between us and the audience won't even know it is the fact that all of us are doing an intro and now we're all of us are gonna have to wait when this video comes out to see who actually got the okay, intro. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's <laughs> okay. This is my intro. You ready? Three, two. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Knights of Horror and another episode of the wait, I was gonna say the round table. <laughs> the rated R superstar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, no, let's do it again. So, come on. Okay. Uh this is uh shoot the shit. Okay, ready? Ready? Here we go. Three, two, 